Well, high school students are banding together to make sure a homeless woman and her family have a fresh start. As Eyewitness News reporter Mark Cotarella shows us, it's not only a teachable moment for the teens, but a life-changing one for the mom and her kids. Just last week, Zoila Cordova Islas and her five children were homeless. That's when someone reached out to a woman known for helping those in need. Linwood High School teacher, Audrey Casas. There was a family living in the driveway of an elementary school. I said, a family? Like, oh, she said, yes, about five children. So I rushed over there. Casas wanted to help, but what happened next became a teachable moment for her summer school students. So she turned to them. What do you guys think we should do? They're like, well, we could, you know, get clothes and we could do this. And one of the kids was like, I think we should have a fun outing for them so they could just have fun. And they probably haven't even enjoyed summer, you know, struggling with all this. And I was like, that's a great idea. They came up with budgeting options while simultaneously fundraising. Seeing the kids is like, wow, you know, they shouldn't be there. You know, they deserve to live life as kids, you know. The high schoolers not only sent Zoila and her kids to Chuck E. Cheese, they've raised more than $21,000, plenty of support to move them off the streets and into a safe place to sleep. At the end of the day, we're all human, and we need to just give back to one another and just show love. I, I think that's what the most important thing is. For me, it's a blessing. Chuck E. Cheese adding to the goodwill with 500 additional dollars and summer game passes for the kids. Now that they see that a lot of people are trying to help, they get really happy. They say, oh, they do care. When we get together, we do amazing things. Casas herself was moved by the generosity, watching it snowball into something bigger and better for this family perhaps life-changing. Students saw from scratch, step one, seeing a problem and figuring out a solution, not, oh, the city needs to take care of the school, the city needs to take care of the police needs to take care of it. They were able to do something and step in. You know, we jumped into it, we're like, it's our community, it's our people. We need, like, they need our help and we're here for them. Mark Cutter Robles, ABC7 Eyewitness News.